Welcome to Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. We just got off the ship, it's already starting to rain, and we remembered we actually brought disposable rain ponchos, so Justin's gonna run back and get them for us. All right, we got our rain ponchos. I think we got these on Amazon, a whole family pack for like 10 bucks, but Carnival's also selling them for $4.95 per person. Ready to get out in the rain. We have a semi-long pier walk. We opted not to bring the stroller because we thought we were just gonna do like a beach or pool day. But then it was raining when we got off the ship. So we're like, oh, well, good thing we don't have our stroller, but we do have our rain ponchos. And this is one cruise gadget that I always bring with us, even if it's not, even if we're not going to Alaska, even if it's for the Caribbean. And I'm so glad. We have them because I'm wearing Gabby. She has a hole in here that she can breathe through. And she's staying dry. Maddie's staying dry. Justin's staying dry. So we can explore and not be stuck. In this video, we're taking you along our day in Amber Cove and giving you the lay of the land. The port of Amber Cove is located on the Bay of Maimon near Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic's north coast. A tender boat is not required, but it's about a 5-10 to 10 minute walk to get to the cruise center. The port can accommodate two cruise ships. During our visit, our ship, Carnival Horizon, and the Norwegian Epic were the two ships in port. There are free pedicabs available, should you need one, just make sure you tip the pedicab chauffeur. When you arrive at the cruise center, you'll see these nice directional arrows pointing you to the different attractions. Let's head to the left towards the shops. You can find plenty of shopping right here with shops such as Piranha Joe, Diamonds International, Dominican Things, The Mercado, and you can chocolate taste at Chocolate World. If you need your annual Christmas ornament, you can find that too. Head back out. The octagon building in the center is the Tourism Information Office. The large pink covered area to the right is where you can catch local transportation, taxis, shuttles, or rent a car from National or Alamo. The prices are posted for taxis working inside the port and are per vehicle for up to five passengers. There are quite a few photo ops you won't want to miss, such as the sea turtle sculpture or the famous Amber Cove sign, which you'll have to wait in line for. Hopefully your ship is the one docked right behind it. All right, let's go eat lunch. We haven't come across too many restaurants yet, but we did find the Coco Cagna restaurant, so let's go enjoy some Caribbean cuisine. Got a strawberry martini, got a strawberry lemonade, and got a strawberry mojito. Everybody, do that. Smile. What's that? Say lunchtime. What is that? A lion. That's a lion? Yeah, look at that thing. Babe, what did you get? I got goats too. 
We ordered the chivito harto de hobo, which is a goat stew with white rice, the chicharron sampler, and the Puerto Plata fish and chips. Lunch was good, but now it's time to keep exploring the port. There's a small public beach behind the cruise port called La Playita Beach, but unfortunately you cannot access it from the cruise center. Instead, you'll have to exit the cruise center and walk to it, which can take about 15 minutes according to our waiter. If you could access it from the cruise center, it would be a quick two minute walk. A unique amenity you'll find tucked away is the Amber Cove Nature Cove, which highlights the famous Dominican Amber. Amber is considered a gemstone and comes from the extinct Hymenea Proterra tree. Millions of years ago, when resin dropped down from these trees, it trapped plants, seeds, feathers, and sometimes entire creatures, which then fossilized after millions of years. Here is an oversized replica of a prehistoric lizard that was preserved in golden amber. Fun fact, the DR's northern coast is called the Amber Coast or the Amber Riviera because of the amount of amber found here. The lush greenery, tropical plants, and sound and sight of a waterfall and creek make you feel like you've stepped into a forest, and it's also another cool photo op. Awesome, it stopped raining. You want to go swimming or no? Yeah. So we've been in port for about three hours. We ate lunch, we did some shopping, so now we're gonna head over to the aqua zone and check it out. I know that there's a splash pad and some pools and a, maybe a lazy river from what I've seen online, so we're gonna go see. Quick tip, the other side of the aqua zone sign makes for a better photo op. At the Amber Cove aqua zone, you'll find a large complimentary pool with a swim-up bar. There's a portion that has a lazy river feel to it as it snakes under a small walkway, but there is no current. Here's a shallow area perfect for small children. Speaking of children, here's the splash pad with two small slides and a couple other water features like this raining tree and squirting fish. By the way, unlike Carnival's policy that states non-potty trained children are not allowed to use their onboard water facilities, non-potty trained children can use the pools here, but they must wear a swim diaper. There are two larger slides for cruisers who are 4 feet or taller and weigh less than 230 pounds. This amenity used to be free, but now it costs $5 for unlimited rides. Oh, and the sun loungers are complimentary, but most are not shaded. If you plan on swimming in port, make sure you bring your ship's beach towel or our personal favorite, a large microfiber towel, which fold down way more compact and dry way faster than the large cruise ship towels. You can find the link for these towels in our Amazon shop. Another cool amenity is the lawn area with five hammocks that are free to use and this huge Adirondack chair with the Amber Cove sign. Again, you'll be lucky if your ship is docked closest to port so it can be the backdrop in your pictures. Let's talk rentals. There's a hut where you can rent kayaks, pedal boats, paddle boards, and hydro bikes to name a few, as well as pool accessories such as umbrellas and lockers. If you want some luxury in your life and feel like splurging, you can rent a cabana. There are poolside cabanas, hillside cabanas, ocean cabanas, and the Grand Cabana. We found that the prices in port were about $20 to $50 cheaper than the Cabana Rental Shore Excursion sold by our ship. Thirsty? Order a fresh coconut. There's a Coco Caña lounge in the Aqua Zone vicinity with a posted menu if you get hungry. Now after all this walking, your feet might need a massage, so here's the Caribbean Fish Spa to get those feet looking new. Need some thrill in your life? Another attraction that may interest you is the zip line. Riders must be a minimum of 8 years old and weigh between 80 and 265 pounds. At the time of our visit, it costs $28 for unlimited rides. 
This port really has a lot to offer, and one final spot we recommend you check out during your visit is the Open Air Sky Bar. Climb the steps, or walk the paved path to get to the port's highest elevation point, and enjoy 360 degree views of the mountains and ocean, and watch the action at the port below. The Sky Bar serves food and drinks and makes for another great photo op. As you can see, there's plenty to do right here at the Amber Cove Cruise Center. We hope you enjoyed our video and are looking forward to your visit to Amber Cove. We're going to head back to the ship and get ready for Elegant Night. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support. See you at Elegant Night!